Hi guys, this is Megha Verma. Welcome to my channel. So in today's tutorial, we will learn how to design this business flyer in Coral Draw. So without any delay, let's get started. So this is the size of our flyer. So first we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a rectangle. Now we will set the size of the rectangle. Now we will set the align of the rectangle. First we will click on specified point, then align center horizontally and align center vertically. Now we will drag the rectangle like this. Now we will click right click to make a copy. Now we will fill black color and we will remove the outline. Now again we will select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and we will draw a small rectangle like this. Now we will double click and drag like this. Now we will select the interactive fill tool and we will apply like this. Now we will set the colors. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will click on mirror vertically. Now we will fill color. Now we will match the sides. Now we will select both. And we will right click then group. Now we will decrease the size. Now we will place this shape like this. Now again we will adjust the size. Now we will set the align. First we will click on selected object then we will align from the right. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now again we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw rectangle like this. Now we fill black color and we will remove the outline. Now we will place this rectangle like this. Now we will adjust the position now we'll double click and we will drag like this now we will adjust the size now we'll select this and we will do control page down to send back now we'll select this and we will make a copy by drag and right click and we will place like this. Now we will select this black rectangle. And we will make a copy by drag. And right click. Now we will select the interactive fill tool. And we will apply like this. Now we will set the colors. Now we will select this and we will do control page down. Now we will select both the shapes and we will adjust the size. Now we will import one image. Now we will decrease the size. 
I'll go to the effects menu and we will select adjust. Now we'll select desaturate. Now we will adjust the image size. Now we will right click then we will select power clip inside. Now we'll click on the rectangle. Now we'll click on add it. Now we will place image like this and we will adjust the size. Now we'll click on finish. Now we will adjust this black rectangle. Now again we will select the rectangle tool and we will draw a rectangle like this. Now we'll right click then we will select convert to curves. Now we we'll select the shape tool. Now we will drag this node like this. Now we'll fill color and we will remove the outline by right click. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will drag like this and we will right click to make a copy. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will select the pink shape and we will select shadow tool from the toolbar and we will apply like this. Now we'll select the text tool from the toolbar and we will select the font style. Now we will write the text. We will write logo. Here we will place our logo. Now we'll select like this and we will drag now again we will select the text tool and we will select the font style now we will write the text here you can write the slogan now we will select the horizontal alignment now we will select right now we will adjust the size I will select this text and we will give a bold look to highlight. Now I will place this text here. Now I will change the color. Again we will select the text tool. And we will write the text. Now I will select the text. And again we will go to horizontal alignment. Now we'll select center. Now we'll place this text on the image. And we will give a white color. And a bold look. Now we will select the ellipse tool from the toolbar. And we will draw a small circle. Now we will set the equal size of the circle. Now we will place this circle and we will fill pink color and we will remove the outline. Again we will adjust the size. Now we will select the rectangle tool. And we will draw a small rectangle. Now select the round corner option. Now select the shape tool. Now we will round the corners. Now 
brown fill color and we will remove the outline. Now we will adjust the size. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click. Now we will make one more copy. Now we will select all three. And we will adjust the size. Now we will select all. And we will right click then grow. Now we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now we will click on mirror horizontal to flip. Now we will select all this and we will group. Now we will make a copy by drag and right click like this. Now we will make two more copies like this. Now we have these details and the icons. Now we'll place this. Now we'll place these icons one by one on the circles. Now we will place this we will change color we will give a white color to the text now we select this both and we will set the align align vertically now we select this too and we will press it to align center Now we'll place this text. We have the titles. Now we'll select this all and we will decrease the size and we will drag with the arrow key. Now we'll select this text. We will copy this text to write a paragraph. Now we'll select the text tool and we will make a selection like this to write a paragraph. Now we'll paste the text. Now we we'll give a white color and we will horizontal alignment will justify. Now we'll place one more title. We will adjust the position. Now we'll select this two headings and we will align from the left. I will make a copy of this text by drag and right click. I will select this rectangle and we will drag and right click to make a copy. Now will fill black color. Now we will place this heading. And we will set the alignment of the headings. Now we will place this website on the bottom. Now we place this barcode 
on the right side now we have this address now I'll give a white color to the text now we'll select the two point line tool from the toolbar and we will draw a line like this now I'll give a white color to the outline I will select this website text and we will select the rectangle and we will press C to align center. I will select this rectangle and we will remove the outline by right click. So guys our business flyer design is ready. I hope you like the design. If you have any question regarding this tutorial you can ask me on the comment box. Please like share and comments and if you are new to my channel please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get updates of my videos. Thanks for watching.